So welcome to my skincare video. This is everything that I'm starting out my no buy year with. Hannah Louise Poston definitely made me buy a bunch of it and I'm so glad that she did. I'm going to link her videos above here or below if I can't figure out how to do that fancy thing about her skincare routine. She and I have very similar skin and I totally jumped on her coattails in all the research that she's done in different skincare products, what works for her, what doesn't work for her. And so far, everything that I've purchased that she recommended has been awesome. I will continue to purchase whatever she recommends. Anything that Hannah recommends will get my money. I hope that I can find products either secondhand or in better packaging. I'm really working to stop my involvement in that big garbage plastic island. Okay, so this is what I have for skincare, and I've never really pulled it all out and looked at it like this. This is kind of this is kind of crazy. I would never have expected that I had this much. If somebody had asked me how much stuff in skincare I have, I would have said, oh, not much. I can't even get it to fit it on, in the screen on this table here. So let's get into what I do have. Let's start with makeup remover. So I have this Bashi Asaki water and some makeup wipes. Now these wipes, once they're gone, I need to find something that's a bit more sustainable. It says that the packaging on this is a recycle of seven. Yeah. I like the sensitive facial wipes. I can't use these. I got both of these from the Grove Collaborative. These are way too strong for my sensitive skin. I've only used two of them. I don't know. If any one of my friends wants these, leave me a comment in below and I'll mail them to you so that you can try them. But you have to have like iron strong skin or at least not sensitive skin. These break me out and dry me out like crazy even though they're full of vitamins. Let's see, kale, a wonderful source of energy, beauty boosting vitamin E. We care it so much about the super veggie duo, it kales us. <laughs> very cute, very cute packaging. I can't use this product, so this will be decluttered. These are the two products that I have to remove makeup. Once these are gone, I'm going to have to find something that's a bit sustainable or find the products being sold by a second generation, second hand. I have to find the product second hand. This, I'm going to steal Haley Evans' idea and use this bottle to hold water to fill my beauty blender. So this has got the pump on the top, and I saw Haley uses her, some big bottle that she has with that pump on the top to get her beauty blender wet so that she doesn't have to keep going to the bathroom or going downstairs. I'm going to do the same thing, and that's what I'm going to use this bottle for once it's empty. So these are my makeup removing products. Ooh, I also have these, <clears throat> these DHC olive oil Q-tips. I don't know if you've seen these. I get them on Amazon. I love these. They're olive, they're virgin olive oil cotton swabs. These are some of my favorite things to clean up, to clean up a makeup mess on my face. I'm going to be sad to try to find a less plastic packaging replacement for these. These are very wasteful, but they're awesome, but they're very wasteful. And so I need to do better. I want to be the change that I want to see. And I'm going to find something better for these, even though I absolutely love these. I wonder if I can reach out to the company and ask them if they sell them in some other way. I can't imagine that they wouldn't. They would because of hygiene issues, but you never know. It's worth asking. So for body moisturizers, I have these guys. So I pick up the samples from when I go to a hotel and I had a ton of them. I have, I made it through a bunch of these from December till now. This is, I think, one of my last ones. I've got a L'Occitane sample. I love this brand. What is the packaging recycling on this? It doesn't say... Their, their creams are amazing. I got this in a subscription box. I hate it, but I am using it up, but I hate it. I hate everything about it. Hate it. I have some old vitamin E oil that I use just for all kinds of things. It kind of leaks. The cap kind of leaks. I had it stored on its side, and that's why it's all grimy. Don't do that. 
this is an, a nice product just to have if you're in the middle of winter in the Midwest and your face is feeling like the desert. I use this quite a bit along with, I don't know if any of you subscribe to Simply Earth. I've now canceled my subscription to that as of March 1st, but I got uh, some of their Beauty Within oils last box and I love it. I love this oil. I love mixing it with the almond oil. I'll use it on my face at night. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to be sad to see that one go too. So this here is alcohol water, more alcohol than water. I use it in a spray bottle and I spritz down my makeup brushes every day after I use them. And then before I use them too, I hit them with a little alcohol just to make sure that I'm not spreading bacteria around my face. Let's move into cleansers. So I don't have a ton of cleansers. I have these two. Uh, for the price of this, I thought that this would turn me into an you know Emmy-winning star, and it didn't. It's okay. I think it does help, but it doesn't pack as powerful of a punch as I thought it would. I'm waiting to finish this to start this. I'm loving this Sunday Riley brand. I learned about this from Hannah Louise Poston, and you're going to see a whole bunch of products that are Hannah made me buy them. This came along with something else that I bought, so I'll try this out once I'm done with this. But this is what I have for facial cleanser, not a ton. And then um, for toners, I have a glycolic acid toner that's running out. And then when I'm done with that, I am going to use the witch hazel. And once I'm done with the witch hazel, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I need to find something in better packaging. But with the glycolic acid, so when I run out of these products, the face, the cleansers, Hannah mentioned that she found a glycolic acid cleanser that helps her out, and I'm going to try that and replace this toner, this glycolic toner with the cleanser because I love Hannah. She can talk me into buying anything. Anything that she puts on her YouTube channel, I will buy. And why is that? Maybe I should talk about that. So she has acne prone dry skin that's red as well and I have the same thing acne prone dry skin and I'm very red I'm much more red than she is and she has spent a bit of her life researching skincare and she has found the best of the best for her and I'm happy to write on her coattails and to learn from the research that she has done and so far so good so I have a whole area back here that's Hannah made me buy it and I'll bring that forward soon. I have a couple of Retinol A treatments. I have the Sunday Riley one, and then I have a PCA version. This this really does make me peel, so this is something that I use when I'm not leaving the house for about five days. This, this really does make me peel. It works, I guess that's what it's supposed to do. It's a night retinol, but dealing with peeling skin and makeup is a, is a nightmare. I hate it. I use this sparingly. I, I tried this one and it wasn't it wasn't as harsh as this one. So hopefully it's still making the cells turn over, but it's not as crazy. For moisturizing, I have a night sleeping mask. Hannah made me buy this. No, this was free. I didn't even know about night sleeping masks until Hannah talked about them on her channel. This, uh, so I got this as a sample, this black tea sleeping mask. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I hope I can find it secondhand or find it in packaging that's better for the environment. I put this on un under my makeup. This is one of my second, this is my second to last step under my makeup as a moisturizer and sunscreen. And then if it's summertime in the city, I go in with an extra sunscreen. I'm using this PCA sunscreen 45. Uh, SPF 45 it's lightweight this works really well and it doesn't break me out I typically break out from sunscreens I have a horrible time with finding sunscreens this doesn't break me out this one's is nearly empty that's why I have two and uh, I put this on over this and then under my primer so I got this in a subscription box and I purchased this on my own and I will use a combination of these two together as primers for my my skin and I'm liking this I love the smell of this I just don't think primers do what they say that they are gonna do I mean I still end up with blackheads and clogged pores and like how does the makeup get into the pore if that's what this job is if this is this the job of this is to fill the pores and blur everything how can makeup get into the pores if this is doing its job so I think sometimes maybe this falls down on the job I'm not sure 
Maybe you guys can tell me how primers are supposed to work. I'm new to primers. I've only been using them for maybe, a, I don't know, six, seven months. There isn't much left in this one. Six, seven months, and I, it comes from a friend who passed away. Uh, she, I saw her one day in law school, and I was like, my face ate my makeup today. I don't understand. I spent all this time putting on makeup, and I come into school, and my face ate my makeup, and she said, use a primer. And I hadn't heard of primers till before her, and so I bought this one. Every time I use it, I think of her and her beautiful wings that she has in heaven. It's very sad that she left us so soon. But these are the primers that I have. And then I just got this in my new subscription box, this Conference Center Cream. We'll see how this works. I have a few other creams to get through before I break into this, but this is brand new, a brand new cream. I wonder if this is a sleeping cream. I'm liking the sleeping creams. It says apply to clear skin morning and evening. So maybe I'll use this as a sleeping cream. We'll see how that works. And then masks. Well, I have, so I have this Regenerist, like microdermabrasion stuff. This is okay. I wouldn't rebuy this once I'm done with it. It's okay. It, it kind of does the job. Uh, there's a Philosophy brand one that I like better. But, you know, for the next year, I can't replace it anyway unless it comes secondhand or it's from better packaging, better for the environment. So we'll see what happens with that. Eh, I don't use it that often anyway. I have two eye creams. I have the PCA Ideal Complex Eye Cream. This, both of these are, are just okay. They don't pill under the makeup, which is nice, but it, they definitely still leave a textured dry area under my skin which I don't understand. I thought that that was their job. Their job was to hydrate and they don't fully hydrate. So they're both, yeah, they're okay. I think once these are both gone, this one is nearly almost gone. I don't know if you can see where's the camera. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close to, to killing this one. When these are both gone, I don't know if I'll replace them or not. Probably not because Hannah made me buy this. Not this one. I've had this one. Hannah made me buy these and I absolutely, absolutely love them. I'm going to be so sad if I can't find them secondhand or in some better packaging that's better for the environment. These are fantastic for under the eye. I swear that these have made me look five years younger in just a couple of weeks. I bought these right before my no buy. This was one of the things that I, uh, what do they call? They say that you go out and you have a, I can't remember what they call it. Hopefully I can type it in over this. Before you do a no buy, you go out and you buy like crazy. I didn't go out and buy like crazy, but I did buy these and these are fantastic. So I don't think I'm gonna need an eye cream because I have these. These are helping so much. And then I have one package left of these eye patches. When they're gone, they're gone. I won't be replacing them. And then masks. So let's get into the masks. Okay, so when I mentioned I have a lot of face masks, sheet masks, I have a lot of sheet masks, and I did buy these secondhand, so that's a good thing, and I bought them before my no-buy year because I was actually out of sheet masks. This wasn't like a last-minute run out and get sheet masks. I needed sheet masks anyway. They were secondhand, and they're all kinds of sheet masks. I'm not going to go through them all. I have a little bit left of a sample of the gold Peter Thomas Roth gold moisturizing mask to go. Maybe there's about half of this left, so maybe one, two more applications. This will be done. I have this black purifying peel-off mask. I think there's only one, maybe two left uses left in this one too, and that'll be gone. I just got this in my subscription box, and I'm excited to use it. This is another peel-off mask, and then I have some Dead Sea Mud as a face mask, so I, I'm set in the face mask area. And then I have a bunch of random sample things that I'll try out that aren't worth going through, but just a couple of random sample things that I'll use up and see if they're better than anything that I already have. Probably not, because we're getting to the Hannah Made Me Buy It section. Let's clear the stage. Clear the stage for Hannah Made Me Buy It.
So Hannah has a skincare a skincare. Okay, so Hannah Louise Poston. When I say Hannah, that's who I'm talking about. Hannah has her skincare routine up online, and I've studied it. I've watched it probably five or six times. And again, she has acne-prone skin that is red and becomes red when it's aggravated and breaks out when it's aggravated. And she's gone through quite a bit to try to get rid of her acne. And she has found an awesome skincare routine that works for her. And I straight up stole it. I stole it with pride. So I bought a lot of this secondhand already. I started buying secondhand late last year, really looking at trying to buy things secondhand late last year. Even though I hadn't started my no buy, I was still trying for secondhand items. So a lot of this I got secondhand. That doesn't mean it's used. It means it's new, but that I bought it from someone who who wasn't going to use it. Okay, so I picked up this. This is not a Hannah made me buy it. I think that this came as a sample. It's a salicylic acid to help with acne. Uh, this is a Hannah made me buy it. It's the Sunday Riley UFO oil for clarifying your skin. This is also a salicylic acid treatment. I love, 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 love this. Four drops, two or three times a week. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I use this in the morning under my makeup and my skin has been the best that it's been in quite some time. She also recommends Luna Oil. This is a night sleeping oil by Sunday, Sunday Riley. I believe that this is lactic acid. You know what? I don't even know what's in here. It doesn't even say what's in here. I love this stuff too. I put this on at night, again, once or twice a week. My I don't have a night daily skincare routine. My skin doesn't handle things if I do it every day. I can do it, you know, twice a week, three times a week. That's about it. Love this. Hannah made me buy it. I'm grateful that she did. I have two little sample sizes because I thought if I liked it, I would give it to a friend. I just haven't seen my friend yet to give her some. I have the Good Jeans Lactic Acid. These came free with something else that I purchased. And this is okay. I think that this is this is a very nice product. It's very potent. It's very potent. I just I have to use it sparingly and in like once once a week, something like that. She spent years, Hannah spent years conditioning her skin to get used to acids. I haven't been that diligent about it. Mine is slightly used to acids, but not as much as hers, so I can't use this every day. The Drunk Elephant products. I am in love with Drunk Elephant. I want to buy stock in this company if they are if they are public. I wish that their packaging was better. I get it that their packaging needs to be block out the light and uh, you know plastic does that the best, but I wish it was better. I wish it was better for the planet. The products inside this, though, are amazing. So I have the Marula oil, the Marula oil, and the Sea Firma. And she is absolutely right that this Sea Firma stuff is magic. It is complete magic. Love this. This is a vitamin C serum. And then I have the Ordinary's Buffet, which is peptides. And this is very strong for me. I can only use this about once a week and I use like a quarter of a dropper. It is the, I just have to say the word buffet over my face for this to work for me. I do like the product and then uh, it came with another lactic acid treatment. So once I'm out of my, my other lactic acid treatments, these guys, I will move to the, the buffet. So this is my skincare. This is what I've got, this is what I use. This is what I'm starting my no buy year with. As you go through the week this week living the dream, I hope that you be the change that you want to see and rock on.